Well, Queen Elizabeth actually made her way to Baltimore a few times during her 70-year reign. You're looking at video of her visit to Memorial Stadium in 1991. This marked her first ever American baseball game. You could see her here meeting Orioles players, and they included Cal Ripken, who described her as, and I quote, friendly and engaging. WJZ is live right now. Annie Rose Ramos is on President Street. Annie Rose, even here in Baltimore, I think that you're going to find people who are devastated to hear this news. Yeah, Denise, and we wanted to look back at the memories Queen Elizabeth made during her three trips here to Maryland. And as you mentioned earlier, those most notable one in 1991 when she came right here to Baltimore to watch the Orioles play the Oakland A's. We spoke to a few folks about what they remember most about meeting this monarch. What a wonderful thing it is that the Queen is here. Taking a trip down memory lane in the wake of Queen Elizabeth's death. The news sending shockwaves around the world, including right here in Maryland, where the Queen visited three separate times throughout her life. There she was. She was so petite and so polite and, well, she's the Queen. You know, it's cool. Attending an Orioles game at Baltimore's Memorial Stadium back in 1991. For the Queen of England to choose that that venue to choose to see an Orioles game, uh, that meant a lot to all of us who are Baltimore natives. That meant to a lot to the Orioles uh, fans. Cal Ripken Jr. remembering that day saying, quote, I had the opportunity to meet her briefly and she was extremely friendly and engaging. His father, Cal Sr., going against protocol. You, you weren't supposed to touch the queen, but my memory is that, that uh, Cal Sr., Cal Ripken Sr., goes, Queenie Cowrick and Sr., glad to know you. <laughs> Sugar man. The Queen also visited Maryland in 1957, and in 2007, she went to NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Very fascinating. More, more for you to see. Thanks very much. But it was at the ball game we gave her a piece of Baltimore. She now presented her with a baseball bat. Uh, uh, with the, which uh, has their name on them. And in return, the Queen surprising the Orioles with her humor. She said, must one be named Ripken to join this team? And it just, <laughs> it just cracked everybody up. Now, Vic, Governor Larry Hogan says flags have been lowered to half staff in order to honor the life and legacy of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.